Well, Chinese students, they will ask me a lot of questions about Australia. Now I shared my experience in my blog. Let me give you a funny example. In China, it will be a little bit rude if you blow your nose loudly. But in Australia, if you keep sniffing your nose, uh, it will be a little bit rude. We use WeChat, which is a really popular app in China. Hey Peng, can you get around with public transport or do I need my own car? Do Australians use umbrella for the sun? Hi Peng, can you get bubble tea in Australia? Some international students, they choose to share accommodation with the people from the same country. They might lock themselves in the house and speak the same language. But I recommend the international students to choose homestay or even live on campus. In this way, you can be exposed to a multicultural environment and this will help you to understand the world better. The first day I came here, I was starving at that time because I fly for over 10 hours and USQ staff are giving free barbecues to external students. So I get a free sausage. This simple food makes me feel so warm and so welcome. My hobby is hit the gym. Have a hobby is not just about how you spend your free time. It's also about how you get involved into the local community. Hello. 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 I normally talk to my family once a week by video chat. I miss them a lot. I have a 10 months old daughter. It is really hard for me to be away from her. But I think I'm doing the right thing. I'm pursuing a master's degree, which can give me a great career. And I think with this, I can create a brighter future for my daughter. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. 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 I'm thinking bring my family to Australia after my graduation. It is a little bit strange because this is the first time I came here, but I feel I belong to here and I would like to bring my family here. I want them to experience the same thing I have experienced.